What's up guys, it's me, working on my car. This is going to be a multi-part series of me turboing a 1989 um, BMW 325i E30. Um, some things I've already done already. Um, I didn't start, I didn't think to start recording or make anything about this till now. Um, the manifold is going to go here, so I've already removed the AC. Um, and and that was basically it. Um, some things that I've done maintenance-wise since I first got this car. The radio is broken. That was just a uh, broken fuse. Uh, the glove box didn't close. I had to replace the the hanger the hanger catch the catch. Um, and that was basically it. I've repainted the valve cover because why not? And done a little bit of engine bay cleaning, but other than that, everything's stock. Um, I do have a, a breather filter here instead of the breather tube that goes to the throttle body because um, when the throttle body is being pressurized under boost, you don't want your valve cover area thing to be pressurized either. Um, so this video is mostly just going to be setting stuff up for mega squaring the E30. Um, before I slap any turbo parts on, I'm gonna get the car running under uh, on the Mega Squirt first with everything stock or more or less stock. So first steps I was doing. Um, again, I didn't think to start recording till now, but I am replacing the stock the stock intake boot with the silicone one because the stock one can only hold up to about. 8 PSI, uh, which is probably going to be where I'm at, but again, just want to be safe. Um, I'm also going to be uh, just simplifying these uh, vacuum lines, because again, why not? I need to attach the uh, M50 throttle position sensor, um, and that's going to be it for now. Um, as you can see, I've already taken off the whole intake part it was re relatively simple just a few screws here here and i would suggest just taking off the whole um icv intake control valve just to make things easier to take off that boot um but right now i have some parts to do the brake uh vacuum line so let me just grab that i also forgot to mention on this car um the the old owner the old owner didn't replace the uh the stock springs and shocks um but they were beginning to get rusted out i don't know how long ago he replaced them so um i did replace the front springs just because those were the ones they the alaska actually cut them so yeah i had to replace them because i didn't like the way it was sitting um and yeah so this is a check valve um basically i'm going to repl be replacing this top tube um i'm putting the check valve here um and i'm blocking off this port here i also do need to block off the other um port on the throttle body where the breather tube was going um because now i have the filter so yeah Right now I'm gonna take off these clamps if I can. If not, I'm just gonna cut them and see if this will fit there. I am simplifying these um, brake vacuum lines because I got the uh, Bavarian Metalworks silicone intake boot, which does not have the vacuum line for the brake booster. So I am I'm just simplifying this anyway. This check valve was like eight bucks and then the hose is not that much either um i do want to say that it is also easier to replace one check check valve than this whole thing um so yeah uh it was really easy to remove um you just i i couldn't get these clamps off it's just this they're so old they're like dry rot on there i just cut the brake booster um, hose um, and then 
you just remove these two ports from the throttle body. All right, guys, we're back. So I got, so this was the, uh, the three-way check valve that comes off the throttle body. I took off the lower hose. Um, and I had to use a, a little bit of excessive force because these clamps were, you can tell like the clamps off and the hose is just still on there, right? But anyway, I was able to get that off and um, I've attached it to the check valve. Um, and now we can put that right into the throttle body there, right there. And for as for that top hole, I'm probably just gonna find like a freeze cap or uh, maybe just a bolt with some J JB Weld to fix that up. And then if this is ever a problem, I can always just, uh, probably, I'm probably gonna use a hose clamp on it. Let me actually get one. Boom, got the zone. Um, that check valve's not coming up. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I don't have any more parts to install, so I'll catch you guys next time. Next time I'm most likely gonna be installing the intake boot, the um, M50 TPS. Uh, I have a bunch of gauges in, uh, on their way. Um, so I need to hook up O2 sensor, um, oil pressure sensor, and uh, boost lines.